I may be wrong, uh, but I believe that it instilled, you know, regard between us last year uh, when I used a little bit of that good magic to weave a story for you that included the names of every single Kentucky Derby combatant. And so, and again, as you understand, there's names that didn't quite make it to the end, but they're worthy of mention. You might hear some of them as well. Uh, and so since you have graciously extended me another sporting chance this year, I was enticed by the possibility of doing this one more time. And so come frenzy fire or high water, <laughs> some of these are a little tricky, I'm telling you. I plan to re-ride the same path tonight. So if you will humor me, uh, again, a truly, in all seriousness, thank you to those who provided the preparation of the meal and the service of the meal to us. Uh, truly grateful to those who did that. What you may not realize is as the governor, sometimes you get a special meal. And I've eaten here enough times that people at the Hyatt know that I love seafood. And although they were trying to uh, you know, woo me with something special, and I should mention, by the way, you're going to get a good meal at the Kentucky Derby trainer's dinner. This is not a Hoff burger and fries kind of crowd. This really, this is, this is good stuff you're going to get. Here it just is. But I, I will say this, they were offering me a Chilean sea bass, but I was really a little more intrigued by the Snapper Sinclair. And so I went with that. I decided to pair it with a nice 1967 uh, Vina Rosso, which was just, I mean, <laughs> perfect, really. And uh, our server, incidentally, it's, the nice thing about sitting at the table up front is our server was kind enough to pop the cork on a Magnum Moon for the entire table. I mean, it was, <laughs> that's what we call it here in Kentucky when it's really big and it's like moon. Anyway, okay, so we had one of those. And uh, anyway, what a meal, truly. My compliments to the chef because fish, as some of you know, can be tricky. But the chef here, he, his instincts for taking the flame away at just the right time. I mean, this guy was extraordinary. And this like red wine reduction glaze that he did, it sort of gave the fish what I would describe as sort of a, like a bolt d'oro kind of finish to it while staying flaky and moist on the inside. I mean, truly, bravazo. I mean, it was really, it was awesome. It really was pretty good. I'm sure none of you get this as trainers, but as governor, it's, it, it comes, you know, at times that people aren't happy with what you're doing, apparently. And you need to have, in order to do the job uh, or to survive in the job, you need the patience of Job and, and the wisdom of Salamini, really. I mean, you really, truly... <laughs> Uh, it's not an easy task. I'm sure as trainers, uh, none of you know what it's like to have people unhappy with you ever uh, at all. So, and as you know, I mean, I am, for those of you who follow me politically, I'm a big believer in restoring hope. I truly am. I, and, I, and in all seriousness, for a moment, I would say that includes criminal justice reform. And there are many people, truly, who work in this industry, who are working in this industry that is serving us tonight, that are the beneficiaries of that. And for any of you who have influence in that area, you know, restoring hope and redemption and second chances is something that we owe to a lot of people. And so it, we really do. But one of, my, one, of my, one of my campaign promises fulfilled, I might add, uh, was to gather here annually with the blended citizens of the uh, Commonwealth and that includes many of you who year after year dream baby dream of winning the Kentucky Derby. Uh, and if you'll give me a minute, uh, I will explain to you why each of you should be encouraged as we draw closer and closer to Derby Day. You see that Kentucky itself is the place where you justify your dreams. This is the place. It doesn't happen south of here in Tennessee. It doesn't happen just over the river in Ohio, not even in Noble Indy, I'm telling you. Only here, only here, no, I mean, only here in Kentucky at Churchill Downs in Louisville do these kind of dreams come true. And I'm, I'm not an overlooked trainer, underappreciated, like some of you have perhaps been or know others who might be. But my political career is a prime example of overcoming odds and proving the handicappers wrong. This is my first political job. Many of you perhaps know that. 
In 2015, I ran against the then seated and two-term attorney general, a guy named Jack Conway, or as, as Dale Romans refers to him, my boy Jack. Uh, but, just saying, but... If, if, I had, if I had not won in 2015, this lone sailor right here probably wouldn't be here with you tonight. Probably wouldn't be. I'd probably be kicking back somewhere with a tumbler of good Kentucky bourbon, listening to a little Mendelssohn through the headphones and just trying to, trying to relax a little bit, which incidentally I see some of you are doing as you're trying to tune me out here. Got your own headphones going. You know who you are. I can see you from up here. And uh, you're trying, actually, I'm sure, hoping that uh, it won't be audible to those that are sitting around you. Uh, and for those of you that are sitting around such people, I'll simply say that uh, if it does get a little bit loud, just pony up for another magnum of wine, if you would. And not too much, though, because uh, if you do have too much, you just might free drop Billy right under the table. And... Uh, and as even Dale will tell you, this, of course, is bad form, even for Derby Week, especially early in Derby Week, even at the, at the uh, trainer's dinner. So may all your horses exceed your expectations, if that's possible in a week like this. I hope it's a safe week. May God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. <laughs>